Hello everyone, welcome back to a Pacer channel. Today we are going to teach you everything you need to know about NAS SSD. Let's go! We are here in the QNet booth. Today we have Ben from a Pacer Technical Marketing. Hello, Ben! <laughs> Hello, everybody! Hi! So, Ben, can you tell us why would someone want to install SSD in NAS? Okay, so there's actually two reasons. First mm -hmm. is that most NASes in 2020 and beyond are going to be supporting 10 gigabit Ethernet and beyond. Mm -hmm. The second reason would be the price cost performance. But let's go back to that first point for a moment. So, 10 gigabit Ethernet will actually allow the NAS system itself to keep up with reading and writing to and from a computer mm -hmm. to a NAS system. Okay. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Oh, I see. Uh, so what kind of people should consider using SSD in NAS? To make a long story short, anyone who is working with mm -hmm. hundreds of gigabytes of files in a single given day or week's time frame. So that would mean 3D animators, mm -hmm. photographers, uh -huh. people who shoot lots of videos, um, people who are working with lots of videos, and even groups of YouTubers living together. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So uh, if I find myself taking a lot of pictures from my phone, uh, should I consider using uh, a system or not? Yes, that would actually be courtesy of QNAP's proprietary APP that comes with a NAS system. Mm -hmm. But to further expand upon that, even though the phone that you have may not be taking such large file size photos right now, a few years down the road, your friends uh -huh. will be sending you photos that are very large in file size mm -hmm. because of Moore's Law. Right now, a $1,000 phone can probably shoot anywhere from 16 to 48 mm -hmm. megapixels per mm -hmm. shot. And well, that file size is already okay for the time being. But what about in five years or 10 years when we might have phones that can shoot literally hundreds of megabytes yeah. of files in just one shot? Oh, okay. Sounds very cool. Mm -hmm. So what makes a Pacer NAS SSD different from the ordinary consumer-grade SSD? Put very simply, lifespan. Uh -huh. Ordinary consumer-grade SSDs are not built to write entire terabytes every day for mm -hmm. over a year. Now, in the case of the PPSS25, for example, with a one terabyte capacity, mm -hmm. it can write up to 2,065 terabytes before it's expected to fail. So, okay. if a user writes 500 gigabytes per day, then uh -huh. they can use this SSD for about 4,000 days, or in Whoa. other words, up to 11 years. That's very long. Yeah. So, a single human being might not do this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. However, several video editors working together and living together can very well do this in a short time frame. Mm -hmm. How about working from home due to the pandemic? This is actually a very viable use case because in some cases we see SMEs that are not capable of getting their employees into the office. Mm -hmm. So with the proper authorization from an SME's IT department, each and every staff member can connect directly to the NAS mm -hmm. from their home and download necessary work files and upload necessary work files to this, mm -hmm. if you will, small to medium enterprises private server that comes in the form of a NAS. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, in that case, when working from home, people could just edit and then upload the file back to the NAS. Uh, so that means NAS is a must-have piece of equipment during the pandemic time. That is absolutely right, yes, due to the need to work from home. Okay, great. Is there anything else people should know about using SSD in NAS? Certainly. So, one thing that I feel is strongly overlooked is that users who already have a NAS that's already full of hard drives mm -hmm. can still consider installing one or two SSDs or M.2 SSDs to set up a cache, if you okay. will. And this is actually perhaps the most cost performance effective solution for a user that doesn't want to go out and spend a bunch of money on SSDs. This can increase read and write speeds up to four times mm -hmm. what just using raw hard drives would be with a NAS system. Okay, I see. Uh, so that would be all question for today. Thank you for watching and remember to like, comment and subscribe for more amazing great videos. Thank you. Bye -bye. See you next time.